The best way you can help out the channel, if that sponsor spot interested you, please click the link down in the description if you're going to go ahead and, and take advantage of it. I don't know what I used, but I hope that, you know, you, uh, you'll take advantage of it and click the link, and it's a win-win for everybody. Now then, back to you! All right. Oh, can I say hi to my wife and kid? Fine. You know what? Give me a frickin' break, okay? I have been a frickin' diva for 40 frickin' years. This video is brought to you by Dog.com. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6. The channel is dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me and my guest. And my guest today is, a, at this point, a showcase <laughs> veteran. All the showcases that House of R puts on, both at Soul Belly Barbecue and various other places, including the Lexi Hotel, which used to be the Artisan Hotel. This man has been on that stage, those stages many, many, many times, both by himself and with a band. He's also been on uh, the stages with other bands as, as one of their members. He is a um, Texas boy in, in Vegas. No, not Texas. Wait, New York? <laughs> Sorry. Well, you just, you have to be kidding. Yeah, he he's a New Yorker from, from Texas. York. He's a New Yorker from Texas. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. He's a New Yorker from uh, in Vegas, and he has two singles out right now. One is called Sharks, and his newest one is called Hot Damn. Please welcome to the channel, Joe the Associate. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, Josh. Thanks for having me. Only a little rambling. <laughs> no, it's great. You do your research. Mm. You see what I mean? You don't want to shoot it. Yeah. It's a yeah. Yeah. So we're drinking a little uh, a little sake. It's a bit flowery. So, but I uh, figured, why not? Let's let's, <laughs> let's 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 use this up. We're also drinking gift. He brought me, which is first place, first first call, call yeah. first call whiskey. I heard it was good. Yes. Oh, sorry. Mm. By the way, as part of the channel, I occasionally do a whiskey review as well. If you have a whiskey that you love that really nobody's reviewing, let me know about it. I'll see if I can get it, do a review video. Uh, also, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down at the bottom in the description. That's also where you'll find ways that you can support the channel, uh, such as room6.shop for merch patreon.com forward slash room six for patron only content and other places you can also find out where what else i'm doing i've got a couple podcasts i'm doing i'm a busy boy but on to the show joseph yes sir. so before we get into kind of more deep dive nardwar sean evans from hot ones questions okay i want to say that's a snazzy headband you have there thank you thank you yes yeah, yeah these are the new joe the associate uh, headbands um they help contribute to my musical career they're a mere twenty dollars a mere pittance <laughs> for they most help people contribute to my music i gotta yeah. remember, i gotta they help contribute to my youtube career but that's right yes. <laughs> hey, yeah right on um I, I i'm sure i put a picture up online on screen about it or, or showing it uh, is there a website they can get to, from or, or is it only physically from you no they, they i have everything under joe the associate and uh there is a website joe the associate.com but I did have merch up for a quick second. I'm not, I'm still kind of getting at the end of that beginning phase where I'm getting everything ready. So, uh, and the headbands were a new idea. So they will be soon. I'll, I'll offer them somewhere online so I could just ship them to people. But if they get one of these headbands, then they're in the associ association. Association. <laughs> yeah, that's the fan club. And, you know, nice. we'll take a picture every time. Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> Give, give him a nice thin black tie to go but, with it. Yeah, we, that's it. We got to get something. We got to get something to take care of our people. Nice. I like the strap. It's a strap on the right. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this was modeled after uh, my my uh, Schechter guitar. And uh, but I've been playing another one lately. I've been playing an Ibanez, but it's that's true. After Sorry, Schechter. Stratocaster body. Right. Not, not Stratocaster guitar. Yes. Right. I, I don't know a ton about guitars, but I've learned a lot about him now yeah right on well um i wanted to uh, i'm gonna hit you throughout this interview with a couple of my usual interview questions i ask of all my friends. i never know what you're gonna say josh i love it <laughs> neither do i but before we get into that i wanted to ask um you where can people see you play next besides the uh, showcase um 
You've well, got something coming up, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I've no, I have a few. I have a few things going on. So I was really uh, one of the things that I wanted to say today was that I'm, and I didn't. I don't want to come out and say all the people because I'm starting a band. Ah, and uh, but with some people that I really like and that I've played with before, and so uh, upon the completion of that. Uh, and or me getting my website going. I'd like to play like house parties and start taking the next step and playing. But these guys are so good that, you know, we could play some covers. And then I, I, I really, I want to do originals only, but, you know. Well, welcome yeah, to you, Vegas. I know, yeah. I know. You need to do it. So. Look at Hal Savar. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, so if you want to keep tabs on what he's doing, check out JoeTheAssociate.com. Also look at, just Facebook. look up on, on various social media, uh, Joe the Associate. He's also on Instagram. And uh, he'll be sure to say, you know, hey, by the way, right? You can always message me, or but I on the website we have we put up the concert dates as as they're happening. So Mm -hmm. that if you want to keep up with where I'm performing, please uh, stay in touch with the social media Facebook page or our website, and we're we're posting up the dates on there. Awesome. As someone who has a weekly podcast, Room Six Radio, all about here's the local shows that are happening this week. Right. Uh, It's every Monday at seven. I'm sorry, eight p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On uh, Twitch, Room Six Radio. Uh, may I offer you some advice? Yes. The second you have a show booked, okay. Post something like save the date. Post something. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. So that people okay. like me can find it instead Definitely. of instead of waiting like two days before your show. Okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> you know? I will. Yeah. No, and, that, and that's kind of that was the purpose of going slow. That we we make sure that we're ready for all that stuff. Right. So I cannot tell you every week. I, I, I'm all done. I've recorded the episode for, for Room 6 Radio. I've posted it. Right. It's going to drop on Monday nights at, at, at 8 p.m. And on, like, Monday afternoon, I see somebody post, oh, by the way, there's this right, show. And I'm right. like, what are you doing? Right, like, right. Like, no, you're, who, you're one of the first people I would tell because oh, you, really, because you have, you know, a lot of people are watching you. And so, yeah, you would definitely be in the loop on that. <laughs> It could be more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. um, Always. Right. So, on to my first usual question. Okay. You ready? Yes. Let's talk <laughs> earliest musical influence. Okay. I know you've heard this. I've heard this question, and so I've had. I've kind of had to think about it. That's right. And uh, every so often, I'll have somebody come on the interview on the on the interview on the yeah. channel. And they'll ask. They'll ask me ahead of time, like, right. "Can you give me an idea of questions?" I'm like, "No. <laughs> why would I? Why would I let you prepare? Right. right. Watch some of the interviews. You know. Right. I literally had a stack of index cards. I used to go through and just ask. That's funny. That's great. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I couldn't trust myself to remember. But now right. I've got it down. Okay. So, earliest musical influence. Okay? okay. And what I mean by that is, what is that first time you remember? I want to do that. And it could be a song or a, a, an artist or right. you were on a show or whatever. Okay. Now, for me, just because of my experience, it's uh, it's it's kind of a little different, I think, because I've heard you ask that so many times to people. And yeah. I'm like... I've gotten I'm all so, sorts of responses. Well, yeah, well, I'm so jealous. I'm like, like, like everybody knew they wanted to do that. I, I don't know. I, I didn't know I, that I was going to really get, you know pursue this until about you know maybe a a year ago or so you know where I really was like yeah this is what I want to do but there was obviously a lot of music you know mm-hmm. that, that and a couple of things stand out for me and I would I would probably use that in this place I would say the first one of the first memories I have is I was with my friend Mike Minogue we're in elementary school and we're riding in the back of his parents who are great people and uh, we're, we're like imitating the Beatles and stuff. You know, they used to show those old clips and stuff. Yeah. So uh, that, but then when I was in junior high, um, you're close to me, but do you remember, uh, what was that What was that record company they would send out all those records? Like uh, Columbia Records. Columbia Records, right, yeah. right. So, Some of you still owe that penny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I got started because they sent me so many good mm-hmm. Yep. songs and and uh, wow it changed my world and then and that musically uh changed me after that i was hooked on music columbia records the gateway yeah. drug to, <laughs> to, to music it was one set uh i do have a funny story about how i got out of the payment though. please <laughs> and somebody told me this i'm like i i really can't afford it because it was like i don't know like 13 bucks a month it, yeah, that was, like was big money for whatever it was yeah <laughs> that was in junior high so uh, somebody told me write a note to the company <laughs> saying that 
um, you, you know, that you would pay it when you get the money. <laughs> I owe you. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, you know, I'm only uh, 13, so I don't, I don't have a job. But God, they must have gotten so many of those letters. They, yeah, they just said, don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like Columbia Records and that whole deal yeah. was the reason why you have to be 18 and over for a lot of things now that you that right. have nothing to do with alcohol or with Could you know be. adult yeah. other things. And I feel like they got, they got, there's a reason why they're not in business anymore. Well, but yeah, but people are back to doing uh, that again. No, it's Columbia House? Columbia, yeah, it was, no, I think it was, yeah, you could be right. It could be different. Let's see. Future Josh put up whatever the heck it was. <laughs> right. And no, but, but that's what they're trying to do today, even with, they, I feel like they cheat musicians, but they're charging that uh, monthly fee, like Spotify and uh, take that out. I don't want Spotify after me. <laughs> but they, they charge that no, monthly afraid. fee. Neither of us are at that level. <laughs> okay, good. They charge that monthly fee, and that's what they're looking for. And that's what Columbia, I think, they probably made more than enough, like just with the people that actually paid for that. Yeah. So. I don't know if it's true anymore, but a couple of years ago, right when people were, you were starting to hear like Spotify. Right. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Spotify. So, uh, tangent. I love uh, Spotify. Yeah, well. They don't pay nearly enough mm-hmm. per stream. Yeah. And when people started complaining about that, I remember that, hey, my music is on, thanks to a distribution deal way back when CD Baby was like a new thing. Right. Uh, my music's on quite a few places. I wonder what's paying the highest streaming per, and, and you know, it's out there. You can find it. Right. The highest streaming per uh, platform per, per song. Guess what was, I think it's still, still the case. Guess what pays the most? I'm just guessing. Mm-hmm. Bandcamp? Nope. What? Napster. Wow. It's still a thing. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm somehow on it. Wow. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> and if and, and my wife told me years ago, if for some reason, back when I was doing music and not right. the YouTube thing, but if for some reason you get to be in like the same room as Metallica and, 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 and you like get a chance to meet them... Do not introduce me to Lars Ulrich, or I'm gonna deck him. My what? wife, my wife is still salty. Really? About what? Lars Ulrich? What do you do? Napster, Metallica. Oh, oh, oh! He was the big old thing. He was against it, right? He was the reason why yeah. it became a thing. And then Santana and some other artists were like, "Hey, yeah, we're not getting all our money." Yeah. And we're like, "Guys, people are buying your albums because they can listen to a track for free." Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, I I don't really know, but I do know that. If you have a million views, right, uh-huh. and you get four thousand dollars, that's not worth it. No. You, you're, you're getting cheated. So, um, and the reason why they could do it is because they're getting everyone to to buy these monthly, right? You know, so uh, yeah, I, but like you say, you got to make it in other ways. I guess concerts and I don't remember the the, the amounts, but I want to say Napster was a difference of like a dollar something per stream versus one cent, right? You know, with with Spotify and yeah. and, and, and it, it went up. But that being said, Spotify is still a great service yeah. for the end consumer. It's just, you need to know going into it, okay, my music's on Spotify, but it's not going to pay my bills. Right, but they're all like that, so you're not, it's not exactly. just Spotify. You know? um, I, and that leads me to a good question, something I've been meaning to ask a lot of acts. And, and now you don't have any of this currently, but what's your feeling about physical... CDs or physical music media at a show that you're where you're performing. Do you think it's still worth it? Um, you mean you to, to make a on your CD? merch table oh, on your, right, on your right, merch right, table? I gotcha. Yeah. Should you bother having yeah, CDs? That's a good question. Or I I don't think so. Just because they're obsolete. They are. But that being said, I still have CD player. In my I know car. a lot of people do. Right. That, but you're, I can't remember right. last time I played one. I know. I have. I've seen everything. This. Yeah. This, it's again, a tough question. Again, with technology being what it is nowadays, it's not that hard to just say, "Hey, com- hey, phone, what song is playing?" and find out who it is. But I, I remember when all of a sudden you were seeing bands put out. They were selling thumb drives, or they were selling right, wristbands right, right. Yeah. with, a, with a, a download code. Right. And. Now, now that that might work, right? But, you know, I but know. now, I mean, the CDs are still a thing. But I'm seeing a return where, like, there was this this momentum of bands used to put like with with vinyl or with um, 
even with CDs, you would see a lot of effort go into the liner notes. And then, you right. know, yeah, and you're then right. all of a sudden it became, we lose all that. You, you right. had the, the eco packs where yeah. it was just, here's the, here's the cover art, here's the back. And in the inside, maybe here's thanks. And now we're, I'm seeing a okay. swing when they, when they bother with a CD, right. they're like, we need to make this worthwhile. Well, you just gave me an idea. I'm going to, I'm going to put out a package with my stuff, mm -hmm. a informi little information package. That pe but th you're right. There should be something in there. I would think it's cheap enough to put a, a CD in there, right? right? I, th I feel like EPKs, electronic press kits, are still important. Right. Um, a lot of the like big name bands, they still have it on their websites because uh, promoters and, and venues want to be able to at least see what are we getting and ideally hear at least samples of, of the different songs. Right. But cool. Moving on. More of a personal question for you. Okay. Okay. I'm scared every time you give me a question. So <laughs> we're friends, your buddy. That's we're right. drinking. We have we have been having some great times lately, right? Mm -hmm. It's been cool. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um I want to talk go back to your wrestling days. Oh my god. How do you, <laughs> how you do are you, good? How do, how do you uh well, how do you go from 178 pounds to 155 <laughs> pounds? How how do you oh, lose geez. that much weight? To, to, to be able to, to, to wrestle in those different divisions. Yeah, you, you try not to lose weight. You just got to uh, eat right and train. It's so funny. <laughs> you try not to lose muscle. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's As a, someone who, of, of a certain age and girth. Yeah, I'm in that same I'm, boat. I, it is so much harder now. It is, but, I know. Uh, at, th at that time, it was pretty easy to, to, to cut weight. I, you know, I, I didn't really cut a lot of weight till I got older. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned, I, I really had a good education in wrestling mm -hmm. at a higher level. And it was kind of almost like what I went through in music. It was fast. And uh, I had one experience with making weight. I was training and uh, I was, uh, you know, I was pretty good. I'm not going not, not gonna, to, you know, yeah. toot my own horn, but I was pretty good. But I got on the scale at a big tournament. And uh, I stepped on, and the weight class was 163, and I weighed 170. I had never checked my weight because I was just living so good and right. clean and eating the right way for, for like a month. No, I'm not doing that now. For like a, for like a month before. Right. And I was like, and so I had to make weight. That, that, and that taught long, me a little. How long did you have from weighing to That match? was a day before. So I had to make, yeah, I had to be in the sauna. I, ju I made 163. and that, You lost seven pounds in a day? I had, I had no choice. Otherwise, it was How just. How can you perform at your best when. Well, I didn't. Right? Yeah. So, that, so you learn. But you, um. You've got some championships, don't you? Or at least I was good. I was I was titles. I was around that world. Uh, I did okay in high I mean, school. Your name's on some plaques. Well, I was a coach. I was a coach for a while, and that's and I, I my my teams were successful. I, I mm. love coaching. I love two things. I love are wrestling and music. I still yep. like it, but I'm not as involved in it. Your son's still uh, wrestling, right? Yes, but my son is in it. Yeah, so that's keeping me involved in it. Right. Now. right. Right on. Uh, I am terrible at wrestling. Uh, anytime I've messed around with wrestling, I end up in a ball in the corner. It's like, you done? Are you done, Josh? Yeah. Yes, I'm done. Right yeah, on. It's a fun sport. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, before we move on. That was funny, though. <laughs> I, I, I do my best. Before we move on, I'm going to take a quick little booze break here, and we're going to hear a quick message from future Josh. So, booze break. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Today's sponsor spot has a special guest, meet Chloe. She's a bit of a diva, but we tolerate her, and she tolerates us. But taking care of this little monster can get expensive, which is where Dog.com comes in. Dog.com is your online dog supplies shopping and information destination. Founded in 1969 as the parent company to a wide variety of pet-related websites, Dog.com provides a broad range of competitively priced pet supplies, as well as community forums and partnerships with several national and local rescue and adoption facilities. Just for watching this video today, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Say bye. Thanks to dog.com for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. She's never this quiet. We're back, and if you wanna help out the channel, the best way you can help out the channel, if that sponsor spot interested you, please click the link down in the description if you're going to go ahead and, and take advantage of it. I don't know what I used, but I hope that you know, you, uh, you'll take advantage of it and click the link, and it's a win-win for everybody. Now then, 
Back to you. All right. Oh, can I say hi to my wife and kid? Fine. You know what? Give me a freaking break, okay? I have been a freaking diva for 40 freaking years. Hello, Liz. Hi, Nico. Hope you guys are good at home. He is drinking so much. I'm just <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid, I kid. You should see it. There's like hardly anything in the, in the, in the mug. A little taste. It's water, I swear. <laughs> Room six water. Water of life. All right. So, um, let me just make sure. Check my notes. Okay. I'm not looking. Any plans to go back to France and reconquer the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, did you see that in the picture? I, I do not reveal my sources. <laughs> you are so funny. I, wouldn't even, I would not remember that if you didn't bring that up. That is so Just funny. doing my job, sir. Good one. You got me. You caught me off guard there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> take over the Eiffel Tower again. Nice. Got to do it. <laughs> Talk to me about that. How do you take over? How do you, re how do you conquer the Eiffel Tower? Aside from just climbing up. You got some good questions tonight, Josh. But you know, not everything is logical. You know that. Yes. So you, you conquer it both mentally and physically. You know what you should do is, is hike, a, hike an acoustic up there and play, <laughs> play on the Eiffel Tower. There can't be that many people that have done it. That is so funny. I would not even remember that, but I think, you know that, you know who did that? It was my kid that did that. He put that picture in there. I believe it. Yeah, he was, he's really, uh, he was really talented with mm -hmm. working with stuff. And then now he doesn't want to come near it. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. Yeah. Um, so, you haven't been Joe the Associate for a long time. You were going under your, your, your you know, actual name, which can we say what it is? Sure. It's Joe LaRocco. And for a long time, it was Joe LaRocco. And then recently, it was Joe the Associate. Where did Joe the Associate come from? Well, it was, wasn't really. I mean, it's been Joe the Associate for quite a while, I think, mm -hmm. for about a year. Well, I'm, okay, okay. In, the, in the scheme of right, things. Right, right, right. Oh, uh, yeah. So Joe the Associate came from, and I, it's funny because I go back and look at those uh, Soul Valley barbecues, and I told you the story once, yeah. and then... As soon as I told the story, Quinn was playing with me, had a problem with his guitar. I'm like, so I, I wasted my story anyway. <laughs> um, I was playing with Quinn Turner, uh, accompanying him at Rebar. And uh, I was kind of just starting out. So I was kind of just strumming, trying to help just him Just noodling. Out. Yeah, yeah, right. And and uh, funking and stuff. And so uh, at the end of the concert, the band was uh, Rust Rebellion. And the, the lead singer was the MC, and he was pretty good. And he and uh, so when they were asking Quinn earlier, they were like, Quinn and who? They wanted to know my name. I'm like, just tell him associate, because I didn't want to take any of the credit. I really wasn't doing anything. Uh. And he was playing. So at the end of the night, the MC goes, slash singer goes, and let's hear it for Quinn and the associate. And then he just starts talking about the associate. He goes, think of how hard it is to be the associate. And people start looking at me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the associate, yeah. And so from that night on, I just kept the name. I thought it fit. So For some reason, when I hear, especially The Associate, not right. Joe The Associate, when I hear The Associate, right. I picture Dan Aykroyd's character in Blues Brothers. You're just standing there, just uptight. <laughs> right. You got the black, just, you're just uptight and playing. Well, mm -hmm. that, that may be coming in the future. So. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Costumes. Right. Choreography. Yeah, yeah. We're getting, we're getting further along. Right on. Um, which leads me to my next question. Now, I know you've performed uh, as Joe The Associate. Many showcase and open mics. Have you done any um, gigs where you're like you're the act on it, or well, you're one act of you know many, right, 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 right. but it's it's like a paid gig kind of thing. Have you been Joe the associate at a at a gig per se? I would say uh, I I've been at some accompanying, but then just as Joe the associate, just one time we We're, opened for uh, at the tap for uh, I can't remember the name of that band. They wear masks. They were pretty good, but the room was packed. There must have been like eighty people in there. Right. I mean, and you do you know that room at the tap? It's not that big. Not yet. Well, they they had it really. It was jam packed. So it was me, Mariah, and uh, Gene, the the bass player. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was the only time. And then besides playing with other people, right on. Because um, normally what I do is I right about here I ask what's your favorite show memory right as the act. However. It's kind of a weird question for you, right? I haven't had a lot, but they were all soul belly. Is probably like the la the yeah. one, the last one that you didn't see was probably the best the best time I know. Had soul belly. I, I I was out of town on a <laughs> fa know. family vacation trip, and I, I didn't cover the last one. 
but I heard, you know, it went off, went off. Um, the thing I'm, that makes me happy is about these showcases is I see people, a lot of people like yourself right. and other people that we've talked about off, off camera who I, I, I get to see like the first time or I was going to say that I was very, the same like thing, very, yeah. very early on. Right. And, and as they get known, people are like, okay, I know what to expect and I like it. Mm-hmm. And, and you hear the, the, the response is better and better. And it's happened with you. And I'm really excited about that. Thank you. Um, you, it's tough playing by yourself and versus playing with a band. Playing with a band, of course, has other right issues, musicians. But you, you've, you're, you're managing. It seems like to handle either one. Yeah, I you made know. a conscious effort. Thank you. No worries. Um, a, a lot of musicians write. Well, like you can write music with a band in mind, but by yourself, it doesn't necessarily play. You know, you're right, and I and I I have a few songs like that right, right and, now, and that, vice versa, right? And I'm guilty of that. I've done it as well, so. right? Um, so with that, we have one more question. You made it. Ask as many as you want. Okay, I'm having fun, right? Um, speaking of which, this man, you're performing at the next uh, Lexi, I think. I'm not sure. I have not heard about that. But <laughs> neither I, possibly, have I. yes. Neither have I. Possibly, no. but um, definitely subscribe if you you know haven't already. Ring the bell so you get notified because uh, when he when he plays at one of the showcases uh, that are uh, run by Hal Savar, I'm there pretty much usually every time and I'm live streaming and I'm also doing a review and uh, I'll make I'll be sure to like talk about his set. So re- subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you. No worries. Thank you for the content. Hey. Yeah, and I, I thought that was interesting. I had thought about that before. I'm thinking, well, you you've really seen me my whole, entire progression of my musical career right. because, and you you've been there since the beginning, and so you know as well as anybody. With that, we're gonna circle back. Um, actually, I lied. Two questions. Okay. <laughs> and I do have a couple of announcements. Joe. Oh, ooh, announcements, <laughs> announcements, whatever announcements. you want, whatever you want. The horrible way to die. <laughs> We're at summer camp now. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll ask a question. Okay. When you're done answering that, go ahead and do announcements, and then okay. I'll ask you the last question. Okay. Deal? Sure. Deal. Clink. Right. <laughs> Can I put my phone on for the edge, for the notes? It, it doesn't ring out loud anymore. Anyway. It's fine. Okay. Oh, if it rings, it I'm just going to make fun of you. That's it won't all. screw up your equipment, though, right? <laughs> no, this okay. isn't an airplane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like when you put something too close to the amps. Right, right. Or yeah. the mics. Oh, God. You can that always tell. The mic cutting out the other day. Um, That was more of a low battery thing. Okay. And, what, and you Hal mean the one it. on the stand? Uh, Mariah's was. Uh, Hal's? Or, or you mean. No, uh, not Hal's. You're not, not talking about one. two nights ago. Yes, two nights ago. So not the light up blue one that Hal brought. The no. other one. The other one was the house one from right. Lexi, and and the the batteries were um, oh was a battery they, in but the, there? But they replaced the batteries. I think I saw a, pl- a cord. I, I didn't know it was a battery. Why hell brings this on sound? Right. Hi. So this is riveting television. Anyway, um, television. <laughs> I'm on TV now. <laughs> yeah. I, I've had you people. Know. I had I had a band come from Utah. Shout out to Raven Kane, and he posted like, "I'm going to Nevada yeah. to Vegas to be." On a, on a TV show, I'm like there are two right. things wrong with that. First of all, I live in Henderson. Second of all, this is not TV, buddy. A, no, I'm considering this and, TV too. And this, this was guy's season right. one. This was the first year. I'm like, That's this is funny. not a TV show. Right. Anyway, I'm going to ask you a question that okay we all hate getting. We okay. and every musician who's doing this been doing this for a little bit. We hate getting this question, and okay. I apologize in advance. Go ahead. You OG room sixers know what's coming. How would you define your musical style? Elevator oh, pitch. Go. Nice. Okay. Well, I've really thought about uh, doing it, so I think I could do it pretty succinctly. Good I man. like to say, uh, and just, I needed to have this in general anyway. I, I like to say it's uh, retro rock originals. Yeah. That's how I describe it. I've, I've talked about your sets many times in my review videos, and, and classic rock influence has definitely been mentioned. Yeah. Uh, a little, little, a little, bit of, um, little bit of Joe Waters in there a little bit because of the quirky uh-huh. lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you were really funny on that on the last one. You were like, uh, he, he, I forgot what you said. Like, yeah, I'll sing this or that, and then you're like, and I'll also sing a love song. And you started laughing. Yeah, and sometimes love songs. Well, I'll sing a love song. I get crazy like that. Be, well, there has been love songs. <laughs> no, there has. And yeah. then there's been songs about sharks. Right, right, right. <laughs> we got a lot of different stuff. Right a lot on. of different topics. Um, I, you could sum it up. 
how do you, how do you find your musical style? You could sum it up with hot damn. Hot damn. That's the style. Please get hot damn. Yeah. That's that's the style I'm shooting for. I've been playing for 25 years. Right. 25 well, I'm try- years. I'm trying to Hal was like, "Why don't you play all of your so he doesn't consider those other love songs hits. So he's like, "Why don't you play all your hits in one night?" And I'm like, Okay, Hal, give me an extra song. I'll get a band, and I'm calling yeah. it a night of hits. Last time we had an, you had an extra song. Yeah, you know, I've, I've when, noticed when he, you were doing it. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, two, two yeah, yeah. Ago, yeah. Right. I've noticed that uh, how he scaled back on how many performers, right. so that more people because it was really for a while it was turn and right. burn, right. which made my job fun trying to get photos and videos and right. run the live stream. Right. So I was, <laughs> and so I, it was kind of nice to do what I got to do and then sit there for a couple songs and just and enjoy, get to enjoy it. yourself. Yeah. Right. But before you get into that. Okay. Um, I had a thought and I lost it. Poor little lonely and thought. And I'll do the announcements. You want to do the announcement now? Yeah. Okay, okay since you... Because I forgot. All right, think about that. I'm mm. going to do the announcement. What was I going to say? Okay. New, new music video coming out. Hot damn. And uh, that's going to be coming out and hopefully about maybe the time that this interview comes out. Actually, uh, that's what I was going to say. Stick around because we're going to be seeing a music video after this interview for hot damn or for something. Probably hot damn. There you go. We do these in advance. A little peek behind the curtains. But yeah, stick around because that song is definitely one of your crowd favorites. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, what what else you got? Okay, uh, I think I already forming said that band. I'm forming a band. I just don't want to say all the members, but it's people that you've seen me play with. And some tremendous musicians that... Tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. I, I am lucky to play with them. So... Uh, this this whole thing has been great. It's been a great ride and a lot of fun. Yes. Um, also, that uh, I did want to say on on the two recordings I have out, and I have two more coming out. Part of those that were part of that session, mm-hmm. um, I did them with Las Vegas Music Productions, who I'm working with at the time. Uh, uh, excuse me, right now, and uh, that's Bert Django and Fabian Diarmas. You've I probably was going to mention that. You mentioned that two nights ago, and I was surprised. I, I, right. I was like, "Oh, I didn't realize it." So. so, if you if you are recording, you're interested in recording. Those guys are fantastic, and they're really reasonable. They help people. You saw them play. Mm-hmm. So they even if somebody comes in like a guy like me, mm-hmm. they'll play all the instruments. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know that. I know yeah. Fabian as an instrumentalist. That yeah. was the first time I'd seen him being the front man. Oh, he's amazing. And Bert's been on the channel, so yeah, I know. Right. Him. Right. Right. So, right on. Okay, and then uh, the the manager. Uh, yeah, my my bass player is also my manager. Gene, Gene Stump. Thump and Stump. <laughs> you so can use that, Gene. We're having a we're having a great time. We got we got some good people, and I'll announce the whole band right on. eventually. But cool. Thank, thank you for letting me do all that. For no worries, and thank you for giving everybody this forum. It's it's so incredible. Uh, honestly, it, it's a symbiotic relationship. I wouldn't ha- have a channel without people like you. And people, you know, and the music scene, I've been getting a lot of love and support from them, and, and I appreciate it very much. This is my excuse to bring the music scene to me. So cool. <laughs> because so cool, right. I, my liver and my wallet can't afford for me right. to go to every show. Right, right, um, And as much as I enjoy going to shows, I do all the editing. So I ha- it, it's this fine balance. And so things like live streaming uh, the, the, the showcases yeah. and doing reviews of those are a lot easier for me to, to get up there and get people's you know faces and names and stuff out there um and then interviews like this last question you ready yes cool drum roll please it's the worst drum roll ever (laughs) i did a double okay we're circling back to earliest musical influence okay let's pretend we're talking a little you okay okay there's another uog room sixers you know this question well what we're really doing is we're talking to new musicians right now granted you're still fairly new, doing this right. as a I, I'm performing An older, out. New, but new you're position. you're not yeah. a you're not no, some I'm kid, new. right? Yeah, you're not some kid. No, right. And let's pretend we're talking to little you. Okay. The one that was listening to the Beatles and and right. being like, I want to do that. What is one piece of advice that you wish you could give you about? Going down this twisted road that is performing music, and, and don't say change your strings. No, no, <laughs> I won't. And I uh, used to get that a lot, right? And, and I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot more along the way. But uh, I would say that at the the part that I, I wish I wish I had been doing this my whole life. Mm-hmm. Now, and uh, you know, I did maybe write songs here and there, and I didn't know why. 
you know, but I wish I really had been pursuing this my whole life because uh, it's so fun. And so I would just say, even if it's whatever it is, music or or anything else, if you enjoy doing it and it, just have fun with immersing yourself in, into that and that and something else you love, or, you know, but then you can never fail as long as you love what you're doing. Fair. Um, I couldn't say it better. My only thing to add to that is there's a reason why a lot of, especially a lot of like at the local level singer songwriters, but a lot of musicians close their eyes when they're singing and don't look at the audience too much. Right. We're all insecure. Yeah. And I, I'm guilty of that. Every too, musician right? is just a bundle of insecurity and imposter syndrome. And every single time they perform, they've overcome that right. and they deserve your, 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 uh, your applause. Um, that's about it. Stick around. We're going to see a music video from Joe. And uh, in the meantime, check out his social media links that I've got down in the description. What else? Oh, yeah. Remember to be amazing. And uh, I'll catch you in the outro. And we'll see you next time, I guess, in room six. Uh, say goodbye, Joe. Yeah. Goodbye and thank you. ba da ba ba da ba <laughs>
I want to thank Joe the Associate for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and an awesome music video. In the meantime, if you want to know more about him, check out the links down in the description. And if you get the chance to see him live, you definitely should. And other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click up there, ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, please click over there. Appreciate you all, love you all, and remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6.